Today I will show you how you can get the best FPS on CSGO for low-end PC on Windows 11. But before, don't forget to subscribe to the channel, and like. First open the game, go to the settings menu, then to video. On the brightness, select 110. Aspect ratio, select 16 by 9. Resolution, select 1920 by 1080. Display mode, select full screen. Laptop power savings, very important select disable. Now on the advanced video, on the global shadow quality, select very low. Texture detail, select low. Texture streaming, select disabled. Effect detail, select low. Shader detail, select low. Boost player contrast, select disabled. Multicore rendering, select enabled. Multi sampling anti-aliasing mode, select none. FXAA anti-aliasing, select disabled. Texture filtering mode, select bilinear. Wait for vertical sync, select disabled. Motion blur, select disabled. Triple monitor mode, select disabled. And use Uber shaders, select disabled. Then press apply changes. Press on quit to desktop. Press on quit. Now press on the start menu, go to settings. Then go to gaming. Press on game mode. On the game mode make sure you have this on. Then press here on graphics. Press on change default graphics settings. Make sure you have this on. Then go back to graphics. Press here on Browse. Search where you have your Steam folder. Double click on it. Go to Steam Apps. Then to Common. Counter Strike. And this is the right file you need to find. First right click on it. Press on Properties. Here you have to go to Compatibility. Check Disable Full Screen Optimization. Then go here to change High DPI Settings. Check this box. Then press OK, press Apply, OK, then select it, press here on Add. Scroll down, you will find it here. Press on it, press on Options, check High Performance, press on Save, and close the page. Now you have to go to this website, scroll all the way down, press on the first Download button. And it will download here, when it is done, press on it and press on open. Double click on it. Press next. Check I accept the terms. Press next. Next again. And install. Make sure you have this checked and press on finish. Now this page will pop up. Here is very easy. On the system power plan, select high performance. Then on the core parking, select 100%. Frequency Scaling, select 100%. Turbo Boost, select 100%. And Performance, select 100%. Then press Apply. Press OK. Close this page. Go to this website, on the timer resolution, press here on Free Download. Press on Download Now. And it will download here, when it is done, press on it, and press on Open. Double click on it. And this page will pop up. Here you have to press on maximum and it will be half of this milliseconds. You just have to let it run in the background when you play a game. Then when you are done with the game press here on default and close the page. You need to go to the start menu. Then go to settings. Go to Windows Update. Press on check for updates and follow the steps to be up to date. Then go to system. Go to display. On the night light, select off. Then go to advanced display. Choose a refresh rate. Select the highest hertz you have on your monitor. Then go back to system. Go to the notifications. On the notifications, select off. Go back to system. Go to focus assist. Select here off. And down here on during these times, select off. 
then go back to system. Go to power. Here on the power mode, you have to select best performance. Go back to system. Go to storage. On the storage sense, select off. Then go to cleanup recommendations. Select this too if you want to delete them. Press on cleanup. And press on continue. Then go back to system. Go to multitasking. On the span windows, select off. And on the title bar window shake, select off. Go back to system. Go to remote desktop. On the remote desktop, select this to off. Go back to system. Go to clipboard. On the clipboard history, select this to off. Then go here to the personalization. Go to background. Here select picture or solid color. Do not select slideshow. Then go to apps. Go to apps and features. Here you have uninstall all the apps you no longer need by pressing on this three dots and uninstall. Then go to gaming. Go to Xbox Game Bar. On the Xbox Game Bar you have to select this to off. Go back to gaming. Go to captures. Record what happened. Select off. Capture audio. Select off. And capture mouse. Select off. Go back to gaming. Go to game mode. On the game mode you have to select this to on. Then go to privacy and security. Go to general. Here you have to select all this to off. Then go back. Go to speech. Select this to off. Go back. Go to inking and typing personalization. Select this to off. Go back. Go to diagnostic and feedback. Select this to on. Then go back. Go to activity history. Uncheck this box. Go back. Go to searching windows. Here select this to off. Select classic. And we are done with the settings. Now go down here to the search bar. Type task. Press on task manager. Here you have to go to startup. Now here you have to disable all the application you don't want to run in the background when your computer starts. Then close the page. Go again to the search bar. Type optimize. Press on defragment and optimize drives. Select your C drive. And press on optimize. Then go to the other drives you have. First press on analyze. And then optimize. Go again to the search bar. Type run. Press on run. Type here temp. Press OK. Press continue. Select all this files and delete them. Then go here again. Type percent temp percent. Press OK. Select everything from here and delete them. Go again here. Type refresh. Press OK. Press continue. The same select everything from here and delete them. Go again to the search bar, type performance. Press on adjust the appearance and performance of windows. First check adjust for best performance to uncheck all this. Then check custom. And check smooth edges of screen fonts. And show thumbnails instead of icons. Then press apply. And OK. Now you have to be up to date with your video card driver, so if you have NVIDIA go to this website, and select here your specs from the video card. Then press on search. Press on download. And download again. Now if you have the AMD video card, go to this website, select here your video card you are using. Then just press on submit and follow the steps to be up to date. And that's all you had to do. I hope you found this useful. Don't forget to subscribe. See you in the next episode. Bye.